In astrodynamics an orbit equation defines the path of orbiting body m 2 display style m underscore 2 around central body m 1 display style m underscore 1 relative to m 1 display style m underscore 1 without specifying position as a function of time under standard assumptions, a body moving under the influence of a force, directed to a central body, with a magnitude inversely proportional to the square of the distance such as gravity, has an orbit that is a conic section i.e. circular orbit, elliptic orbit, parabolic trajectory, hyperbolic trajectory, or radial trajectory with the central body located at one of the two foci, or the focus Kepler's first law. If the conic section intersects the central body, then the actual trajectory can only be the part above the surface, but for that part the orbit equation and many related formulas still apply, as long as it is a freefall situation of weightlessness. Topic. Central, inverse square law force Consider a two-body system consisting of a central body of mass m and a much smaller, orbiting body of mass m, and suppose the two bodies interact via a central, inverse square law force such as gravitation. In polar coordinates, the orbit equation can be written as r equals 2 m 2 mu 1 1 plus E cos theta display style r equals frac l caret two m caret two mu frac one one plus e cos theta, where r display style r is the separation distance between the two bodies and theta display style theta is the angle that r Display style math BF R makes with the axis of periapsis, also called the true anomaly. The parameter display style L is the angular momentum of the orbiting body about the central body and is equal to m r two theta display style Mr carrot two dot theta. The parameter mu Display style mu is the constant for which mu r two display style mu r caret two equals the acceleration of the smaller body for gravitation mu display style mu is the standard gravitational parameter minus g m display style g m for a given orbit, the larger mu display style mu, the faster the orbiting body moves in it, twice as fast if the attraction is four times as strong. The parameter e display style e is the eccentricity of the orbit and is given by e equals one plus two e. 2 m 3 mu 2 display style e equals sqrt 1 plus frac 2 e l caret 2 m caret 3 mu caret 2 where e display style e is the energy of the orbit the above relation between r display style r Theta display style theta describes a conic section. The value of e display style e controls what kind of conic section the orbit is. When e one display style e, the orbit is elliptic. When e equals one display style e equals one, the orbit is parabolic. And when e greater than one display style e greater than one, the orbit is hyperbolic. 
The minimum value of r in the equation is r equals 2 meters 2 mu 1 1 plus e. Display style r equals l caret 2 over m caret 2 mu 1 over 1 plus e. While if e 1 display style e, the maximum value is r equals 2 meters 2 mu 1 1 minus e. Display style r equals l caret 2 over m caret 2 mu 1 over 1 e. If the maximum is less than the radius of the central body, then the conic section is an ellipse which is fully inside the central body and no part of it is a possible trajectory. If the maximum is more, but the minimum is less than the radius, part of the trajectory is possible. If the energy is non-negative parabolic or hyperbolic orbit, the motion is either away from the central body, or towards it. If the energy is negative, the motion can be first away from the central body, up to R equals 2 m 2 mu 1 1 minus e display style r equals l caret 2 over m caret 2 mu 1 over 1 e after which the object falls back if r display style r becomes such that the orbiting body enters an atmosphere, then the standard assumptions no longer apply, as in atmospheric re-entry. <laughs> Low energy trajectories If the central body is the Earth, and the energy is only slightly larger than the potential energy at the surface of the Earth, then the orbit is elliptic with eccentricity close to one and one end of the ellipse just beyond the center of the Earth, and the other end just above the surface. Only a small part of the ellipse is applicable. If the horizontal speed is v v, then the periapsis distance is v 2 2 g display style frac v caret 2 2 grams the energy at the surface of the earth corresponds to that of an elliptic orbit with a equals r 2 display style equals r 2 with r display style r the radius of the Earth, which can not actually exist because it is an ellipse fully below the surface. The energy increase with increase of A is at a rate 2 g display style 2 grams. The maximum height above the surface of the orbit is the length of the ellipse, minus r display style r minus the part below the center of the Earth, hence twice the increase of display style minus the periapsis distance at the top the potential energy is g display style g times this height and the kinetic energy is v 2 2 display style frac v caret 2 2 this adds up to the energy increase just mentioned the width of the ellipse is 19 minutes times v display style v the part of the ellipse above the surface can be approximated by a part of a parabola which is obtained in a model where gravity is assumed constant this should be distinguished from the parabolic orbit in the sense of astrodynamics where the velocity is the escape velocity see also trajectory topic <laughs> categorization of orbits Consider orbits which are at one point horizontal, near the surface of the Earth. For increasing speeds at this point the orbits are subsequently part of an ellipse with vertical major axis, with the center of the Earth as the far focus throwing a stone, suborbital spaceflight, ballistic missile, a circle just above the surface of the Earth low Earth orbit, an ellipse with vertical major axis, with the center of the Earth as the near focus, a parabola a hyperbola note that in the sequence above h display style h e display style epsilon and a 
display style increase monotonically but e display style e first decreases from 1 to 0 then increases from 0 to infinity the reversal is when the center of the earth changes from being the far focus to being the near focus the other focus starts near the surface and passes the center of the earth we have e equals r a minus 1 display style e equals left frac r a minus 1 right extending this to orbits which are horizontal at another height and orbits of which the extrapolation is horizontal below the surface of the earth we get a categorization of all orbits except the radial trajectories for which by the way the orbit equation cannot be used in this categorization ellipses are considered twice, so for ellipses with both sides above the surface one can restrict oneself to taking the side which is lower as the reference side, while for ellipses of which only one side is above the surface, taking that side. Topic. See also Kepler's first law Circular orbit Elliptic orbit Parabolic trajectory Hyperbolic trajectory Rocket equation Orbital velocity Escape velocity Notes <laughs>